Today we're going to make raw vegan coconut bacon. And just so you know, this recipe can also be made in the oven. So I'd watch the whole video so you can learn what I'm doing. And then if you don't have a dehydrator, you can make your own vegan coconut bacon in the oven. And we start with coconut flakes. It's very important that you, that you have coconut flakes and not shredded coconut because they're gonna give you the better consistency and shape that you want for bacon. It's a very, very easy recipe. We'll start with two cups of shaved coconut. It doesn't really matter if you have overflowing cups. Next, we have the bacon marinade. And what's really cool about this recipe is you can also use this same marinade and you can marinate other stuff. If you wanted to use tofu and cut it up into strips, you could marinate it in this, dehydrate it into bacon strips that you could put on a raw BLT. I've marinated hemp tofu and dehydrated that. Pretty much anything that you want a bacon flavor, you can use this marinade for. I would just keep in mind that you want a similar ratio. This is about two cups worth of stuff, so if you're gonna marinate something else, keep that in mind. The marinade, it's got a, just a few ingredients. We're gonna start with the spices first. Smoked paprika is very important. It's gonna give it a nice smoky flavor, give it that savory quality that's really nice, and that is going to be a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And if you love spice shops as much as I do, they have a bunch of different kinds of paprika. They have smoked, they have regular, they have sweet and spicy. I would make sure you get smoked, and then if you wanna get smoked and spicy, I would also recommend that, because I like a little bit of heat with my savory foods. Actually, I like a little heat with all my foods. Next is onion powder. We're just gonna do a half teaspoon of this. And this is really optional. It's not essential, but I do like the way it contributes to the overall flavor profile of the bacon. I'm gonna use crushed Aleppo in this recipe, and I'm just adding it this time. It's not part of the recipe. You could use cayenne, you could use crushed red pepper. The coconut bacon that I made the other day, I actually cut up a fresh jalapeno and diced it and threw it in there and then dehydrated that with it. And that was really, really delicious and that gives you heat as well. So I'm gonna do a little under a half teaspoon because I like a lot of spiciness. Then we have a half teaspoon of salt. Those are all the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna move on to the liquid ingredients and this is probably one of the most key ingredients in this whole recipe and this is liquid smoke and it's gonna give it that smoky flavor as well as the paprika and it's gonna make it very very similar to bacon and even if you don't like bacon you will like this recipe I have given it to people who say oh I don't like bacon I'm not gonna like this and they eat it and it's delicious because it incorporates something that's crunchy, something that's sweet, something that's savory. And when you combine so many of those flavor components, things taste delicious. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of liquid smoke. A teaspoon of coconut vinegar. If you don't have coconut vinegar, you could use apple cider vinegar. I actually am using coconut vinegar for the first time today. I normally use apple cider vinegar, but I thought, well, it's coconut bacon, let's make it coconut vinegar as well. I really like the flavor of it, and it's very similar to apple cider vinegar. Next up is coconut aminos. This is gonna give you some more saltiness to the recipe. I like coconut aminos out of all the different types of liquid aminos. You could use tamari, you could use Bragg's aminos, you could use Nama Shoyu, which is unpasteurized soy sauce. Personally, coconut aminos are my favorite, and this is coconut bacon, right? So, the heck. We're doing one tablespoon of aminos, one tablespoon of maple syrup. You could also use coconut nectar. Since it's coconut bacon, I thought the maple flavor would go really well with the recipe, and it does. I've done it multiple times, and that's actually the only sweetener that I've used. But if you didn't have any maple syrup and you had coconut nectar, you could certainly use it. You're just looking for a sweetener in this case. 
And that is all the ingredients. All we gotta do now is stir the spices up with the liquid. And you don't have to be super crazy about getting it completely whisked in because we're also gonna throw it into the bowl of the coconut. So that looks nice and mixed together. Now I just take this liquid here and then pour it on top of my coconut. And now I'm just going to take my spatula and I want to just toss this coconut around until it gets evenly coated so all the bacon is a consistent color, all the coconut is a consistent color. You don't want any white pieces of coconut, you want to get it covered as nice and even as possible. Just a few more times and I'm also noticing the liquid at the bottom of the bowl. As I continue to toss this around more and more of that liquid is disappearing and it's coating the coconut bacon. So you want to go until that is all gone too. There's no more residue at the very bottom of your bowl here. And if I was using fresh jalapeno, you'd see those chunks in there and that would add a lot of delicious flavor as well. Just a few more passes. So now you can see this delicious coconut bacon. And now all I have to do is take my dehydrator sheet and spread it across the top. Now I just want to cover the sheet evenly so it dehydrates nice and consistent. And all I gotta do now is pop this in the dehydrator for probably six to eight hours. The nice thing about this recipe is you could leave it in for longer and nothing's gonna happen to it because it's just gonna get, it'll get crispy to a point and you can't really dry it out. You're not trying to find any middle ground. And the longer it goes, the crispier it gets. You'll know by touching it if it has the right texture because you can actually break it and it'll snap. If you were gonna do this in the oven, you'd do the same thing, but then you would spread it out on a baking sheet. However, what I would do is I would add about a teaspoon of coconut oil. That way it doesn't burn. Spread it out, bake it at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes, and you're gonna get the same delicious outcome as dehydrating it. It won't be raw, but it will be vegan and it will be delicious. Here is the final product. It is dehydrated to the point where it is nice and crunchy and delicious. What's so cool about coconut bacon is you can eat it plain by itself. It's really delicious by itself. You could add it to another trail mix. You could add it to other nuts and raisins. It'd be a delicious savory trail mix that you could take on a hike. You could take romaine lettuce and you could fill it with guacamole and some sliced tomatoes and then add some coconut bacon on top for this raw vegan little BLT wrap. You could use a tortilla if you wanted something more filling. You could also just sprinkle it on top of your salad if you have a huge bowl of lettuce. It's a great topping in addition to all of your other ingredients because it gives you that extra crunch and it has that sweet, savory component that's really nice to have when you're chewing greens because it kind of pulls all the flavors together. I would highly recommend you give it a try. It's so easy, so inexpensive. Shaped coconut is a couple dollars for a, a whole bag. You just need a few spices and ingredients. You can customize it to your own liking if you wanted to add more spice. You could add more spice if you wanted to omit it completely, you could. If you liked this recipe and you'd like more, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your comments below of what else you'd like to see. And please let me know if you give it a try in the oven or in the dehydrator. And thank you so much for watching.